where do we go here with this point guard rotation? You know, I was on uh, on with Ian Beckley and, and those guys earlier, and I, I don't think they're going to make a panic move just yet. Maybe as the series progresses, he goes that way. But I'm going Rose right off the bat, John. I'm not playing games. There's, there's no room for error for me. I don't want a slow start. I'm not trying to play catch up. I'm going right to Rose, the true floor general of this team. I'll go to Burks to back him up. And I just feel like in this series, with the amount of firepower that the Hawks have on the perimeter, and we'll get to Trey Young after this, you have uh, Lou Williams, you have Bogdanovich, Herder, Tony Snell, a lot of firepower there. We need Frank, to me, we need his defense in there to, to get those guys out of their rhythm. No, CP, I'm with you. Look, I think we've figured out, I know you guys have the Frank Hive over here, and I, I'm a member. I, I own a lot of real estate on Frank Island. No one's been a bigger supporter of him than I have. But right now, look, he's not a point guard. Whether or not he's right. going to become one, fine. Tibbs doesn't trust him to play that role. So I'm with you, though. If I'm the coach of the Knicks, and thank goodness I'm not, I'm starting the series with Rose as my starter. The margin of error in the playoffs is so small, you can't throw away 15 minutes a game right. on Alfred Payton because you're not going to be able to make that up. The Hawks are too good. The Hawks are good pass. They have a better record than the Knicks do in their last 37 games yeah. since Nate McMillan took over as head coach. As good as the Knicks have been, the Hawks have been better. Yeah. And they're healthy, healthier mm. now than they have been all year. So they're really good. You can't afford to put yourself in that five, six point, whatever Payton's going to be whole for a couple reasons. One, I don't trust him to, to be up on young as much as he needs to defensively. Um, you know, he gets lazy off ball sometimes. Number two, the way you make a team like the Hawks pay for having Trey young out there is by attacking him on defense. And do you trust Alfred Payton to attack anybody on defense? Right. I don't. So I think what I do here is that you start the game with Rose. You want to put Rose on Trey young to start the game. That's fine. Maybe you put a Reggie Bullock on him a little bit too. You can do that. And then I think with the second unit, you roll out with Burks as your point guard. And then I think you have Frank come in as your off ball defender right. type. And I think that's how you roll out that second unit with IQ. So you would have Frank in, you know, basically cover young or whoever the point guard is. I'd try to match those two up as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You have, you know, Burks guard the three, and then you'd have IQ guard the two. That's how I would roll with it. I don't, I think Thibodeau's too stubborn, man. I can't imagine yeah. going into the playoffs. He's going to make that change. I'm hoping that the first game doesn't go so poorly that you have to do it after the first game. But I got to imagine by game three, Peyton's no longer the starter. Unless the Knicks are up 2-0. In which case, he's not going to change anything. And we'd, and we'd all sign up for that. Yeah. But look, Tibbs is stubborn. He likes his guys. I don't see him making that move early, but I really think he should. Uh, I'm with you, man. I'm with you all the way. because And he's regressed. He's regressed from last year. You know, he's averaging seven dimes last year. And even now, to close the season, he's been a nightmare both on offense and on defense. I think his struggles are starting to get to his head. I'm sure, you know, having Rose and Burks back and knowing that his role is diminishing is certainly getting to him. And I'm sure, he, I don't know if he's reading the papers or reading Twitter or whatnot, but I'm sure the, the fan reactions can't be helping either. So, um, you know, nothing personal against Peyton, but I, I just think we've got to get off to the fast start, get our true point guard in there with Burks backing him up, and, and let's see how they go. You know, Peyton, I think the Knicks, you know, he, he had 14 points in the first game. He played decently through, uh, against the Hawks. So I think Thibodeau is hoping that he can give you something. You know, if you look at the numbers, he played decently against the Hawks throughout the season. Um, so I think, and you know how it is, CP, this is New York. Yeah. At the end of the day, if Alfred Payton for six minutes in the first quarter is, is able to give you six solid minutes, sure. we forget about Both the season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we forget about the season. You know what I mean? So if he's able to play decently, give you something, listen, we're happy at the end of the day. I hope that Alfred can take this week and, you know, we could, we could fantasize about him not starting. I think he's starting the whole series. That, yeah. That's my take. And, you know, he has six, six minutes to go as hard as he can, pick up as many fouls as he can, make Trey Young's life like a nightmare because he's a big dude. Him and Frank are, are really big dudes. I, I saw them up front and close. They're really big dudes. And also um, with Alfred, 
when Rose got here, remember, Alfred was playing much better because he felt he was losing his job. If he can just find his role in a similar way that other players on this team have sacrificed their per- personal development, whether it's RJ or Quickly or Obi Toppin coming in four minutes doing the two things they said he couldn't do, which were rebounding and playing defense, Alfred's just got to pick it up. He's got to pick it up. We need those six minutes from him because that's what Tibbs wants. 